Hi, I'm Squinty. Welcome back. It's been a couple weeks since I last posted and I have been dying to tell you about this new experience. Just two weeks ago, I went on my first discovery flight, introductory flight, whatever you want to call it. Kind of got my first taste of, well not kind of, got my first taste of flying in a small aircraft and flying myself. So to give you some background, I have been looking to get into the world of aviation as a commercial airline pilot for the last seven years or so. And of course, a good majority of that was spent in school. I'm currently going to college and hopefully taking my next steps towards building my career in the aviation field over the next couple of years. But as with everything, you want to try before you buy. And in this case, you want to try before you fly. And some local flight schools offer just that. Referred to as discovery flights or introductory flights, these will typically be in half an hour to an hour session with an experienced flight instructor who will take you up in the air, fly you around the local area, let you take the controls if the weather is good or if they, they trust you enough, and let you get your first feel for how it feels to be in a small aircraft and how it feels to actually fly yourself. So I am from the Chicagoland area. I know they call it the Windy City, which apparently isn't because it's windy or something like that but regardless we get a lot of winds here especially during the fall and winter season and the summer and the spring season as well uh, but regardless my first session got canceled because the winds were too bad i rescheduled for the week after and well it was still windy but the instructor was like you know what let's let you feel the turbulent winds and took me up anyways and so i got there it was like 25 degrees outside breezy shivering all over the place we're both burning gloves just kind of waiting for the aircraft to warm up outside the winds the gusts are about 20 knots or so and so the aircraft is shaking all over the place you can feel it kind of bouncing and trying to almost lift on you which was weird. It, it was a small sport type aircraft. I'm not entirely familiar with uh, what the brand is or anything like that, so unfortunately I can't tell you about that. But as you can tell, I'm more interested in the flying part than the aircraft part. And you know, we all have different motivations for flying. So for me, it's just the experience of flying itself that I really enjoy. It's been about four years since I last flew, and, and that was in a large airliner. Going back for basically my second time ever in a small aircraft, accelerating, charging down that runway, that feeling you get when you take off, you might almost mistake for kind of a, a sense of fear, but it's exciting and it, it gets you it gets you off your feet, literally and figuratively. You know, you get up into the air, you kind of get through that first thousand feet of turbulent air at about 1600 feet or so, it does stabilize a bit. But uh, you know, given that it was a gusty day, I'm just getting bounced along and the instructor referred to the low bumps as speed bumps. And it really is like that, where it kind of just lifts you up and then a few seconds later, it just pops you back down and you just keep on going. Now, given the adverse conditions, I didn't really get to, to fly for as much, but I probably logged a good total of five minutes up there, which is not bad for a 30 minute flight. And I certainly enjoyed it. The, the feeling you get when you first touch the controls and you can kind of feel the aircraft moving underneath you, you have all the control in the palm of your hand effectively, and you could just, you know, rock the wings ever so slightly into the wind, against the wind. It's a weird feeling. And, and I think it's a good weird feeling. I guess in some ways I expected it to be some sort of revelation where it just feels, you know, exciting and explosion of emotions where you know exactly what this is and, and this is exactly what you want to get into. But for me, the experience was more like, you know, it was exciting. I enjoyed it thoroughly, but you almost felt right being there. You don't feel ecstatic. I think I think that's the, the, the right way to describe that where it's, it doesn't feel like you're bursting with emotions, but you feel it, you feel comfortable in it, and it somehow feels right. And, and for me, I guess that's just the type of person I am. I'm sure if you were to take a flight and you absolutely enjoyed it, this is gonna be like, you know, meeting that really pretty person in class and going on a date with them for the first time. And oh, it's just so exciting and you're falling in love and all those mushy, cheesy things. But in my case, it was more of something that was exciting, really made an impact on me, but it was more something that I would just go home, lay in bed and think about every night. And it just comes back to you and you're like, yeah, that, that, that felt right. It felt comfortable and that makes me feel like I belong there. And for that reason, I think doing a discovery flight or any sort of introductory flight like this, where you get to fly for a bit, you get to experience what the purest form of flying, I guess, is, is a really important experience for any pilot trying to start out. 
As we move forward, instead of Life of Squinty, I'm gonna call this segment Flight of Squinty, and we're gonna talk all about my experiences moving along in this wonderful world of aviation. Probably not in real time, just because I don't wanna give out any sort of wrong information, but as I go through little uh, sort of benchmarks across my journey throughout the, the flight school track, I suppose, I'll be posting frequent updates about how I felt and what my experience was, and if there's any questions that you guys have that I can answer or help you in any ways, I would love to do so, just don't have the credentials to do so yet. In other news, uh, the bike shop is getting a little slow because of the winter, which means I'll be doing a little more of my art over the winter time, hopefully doing some portrait shoots with my friends, so stay tuned for those, and uh, otherwise, you know, fly safe, stay safe, enjoy the holidays, and we'll see you again very soon. Squinty out.